Hi everyone, I hope you are all right and staying safe. So it is the middle of uh, June and it's time for another garden tour. The first tree is the honey heart cherimoya. It's been planting about planted about a year ago. So the big leaves are the last year's leaves and the new leaves are starting to grow. It has a lot of flowers. So we might even have some fruit. I guess this is the first flower to open. Caramel. This is a gold nugget mandarin, also planted about a year ago. It's growing well. Mountain ash rubina. It's growing tall. I will probably prune it so it grows bushier. Here I planted um, autumn olive as a nitrogen fixer. Red grape. With uh, American Red Beauty dragon fruit cutting in the same pot. Planted several bare root trees in winter. This is one of them. Summer Delight Aprium. So, hopefully, we'll have enough chill hours for this Aprium to produce here. good thing about it is that it produces late, much later than apricots, so it can extend the apricot season. Girafuyu persimmon. We had a lot of persimmons last year and no persimmons this year. So they are known for alternate bearings so and we'll expect a lot of persimmons next year. The Lockwood is growing well. Did not bloom this year. So it looks like it's a seedling Lockwood. We'll see if it blooms next year. Maywa kumquat growing in a pot. Some gardenia flowers. Blackberry in a pot. 
this year we did not have our typical gloomy weather in May and June so the fruit trees are growing very well and producing on time the star fruit tree last year we have had one small fruit which uh, dropped prematurely the tree is blooming now so hopefully some fruit will set and we'll have our first star fruit this is a carry star fruit variety I don't know if it needs to be pollinated in a special way it seems to be a self-fertile variety but please let me know in the comments below if it needs to be pollinated in a special way or it needs a second um, star fruit variety nearby for pollination babaco papaya is growing great produces very reliably quite tall already and started having these side shoots which is great because typically babaka only lives about five years and then just becomes too tall but if it breaks we'll have those new branches sprout passion fruit taking over the fence as usual here we have American Beauty dragon fruit did not bloom yet probably gets a lot of shade from the passion fruit I will need to open it up a little bit blueberry bush sunshine blue it's a very reliable producer a ton of blueberries and you can pick them over several months as we wrap it gradually here we have a longan tree it was blooming last year as well and produced a couple longan fruits which actually is still on the tree one and there is another one on the other side of the tree so it's interesting that they hang on the tree for the entire year so give give them a try now flower is a very fragrant and there is always a lot of bees and other insects pollinating the flowers
Okay. This is our Anna apple tree. It's full of apples and they should be ripening in a few weeks. The size of the fruit and the number of fruits on this tree might be better with a pollinator. So I grafted a couple of dorset golden branches into this Anna apple. Here is one graft. So hopefully with cross-pollination the fruit will be even better. This is another apple tree I planted in winter as a bare root tree. This is a sundowner. supposed to be a very reliable producer here as well and it already has four apples ripening it, on it I like the structure of this tree too it's not growing up it has a nice uh, branch structure on it okay the next tree is the ice cream bean it was planted just a year ago and it's already 10 feet tall it's becoming a nice shade tree here and a nitrogen fixer as well This is a manila mango seedling. I'm letting it grow and establish before I graft some nice mango varieties on it. The black mission fig just exploded with growth this year. So it seems to double in size. likely because of the amount of sun it's getting now so we used to have a honeysuckle bush blocking the sun for half of the day and now it's getting full day sun with a lot of figs forming already and the crop seems to be very promising so I did a couple of grafts this year as well. So here we have two Borgesot trees. Grafts. They seem to be growing nicely and already starting to produce figs. And another graft here of black madeira. So it also took, and it looks like we have little figs growing on it as well. Grafts from last year. So here we have Nash Tiger. 
here in full shade so it's not really growing very vigorously I will have to prune this tree in winter to improve the structure and balance of the tree it's leaning to one side mostly because it was growing towards the sun when the honeysuckle was blocking it so I will need to prune and balance this tree later on so some other grafts from last year uh, Desert King a few figs forming on this one yellow long neck graft from last year so this produced figs even last year and those are large sweet yellow figs which are great passion fruit is taking over the fence here produces a lot of passion fruit has a huge trunk another new plant in here is this sweet tamarind tree this is an air layer a variety called Vietnamese pink so it first dropped all its leaves there are just a couple old leaves remaining then it's starting to establish and growing new leaves live here so hopefully it's gonna grow well Here is Flavor Delight Aprium. I got uh, three or four small apricots from it this year. This is still a very young tree, just the second year in the ground. apricots <laughs> a large apricot tree produced several hundred apricots this year not the best crop, but it was okay. Way over 50 years old. I just finished picking the apricots and just on the tree. Here is a picture of how it looked like full of apricots earlier end of May and beginning of June Cherry of Rio Grande also a very young plant just starting to establish here
here we got Lancetia manga has some fruit set but I'm not gonna let it carry any fruit this year so that it can grow some jabaticaba seedling grown from seed another blueberry is a misty variety also a very productive variety and you can pick it over a couple months as well so blueberries grow great in pots so Christmas tree Norfolk Island pine some dragon fruit cuttings and different varieties The cherry tree is growing well. It had a couple blooms this year, but it's still too young to produce. Supposed to be a very low chill self pollinating cherry. We'll see how it goes. The grapefruit is doing much better. The Aura Blanca grapefruit. I pruned it heavily and it has a lot of nice growth and it seems to be recovering from the original issue it had two years ago. No blooms this year, which is great. We don't want it to produce until it all recovered. This is our avocado hill, planted about two years ago. With comfrey around the perimeter for shade and fertilizer. So there are several trees here actually and grafts. So the tallest one is the lamb has. It did not produce a lot last year we only got three avocados still hanging this year it certainly looks like we will have a bigger crop so lots of little avocados starting to form I also grafted corner char wheel to the sucker of this So the graft grows excellent and it already produces some avocados so hopefully we'll try on a char wheel sometime next year the reed avocado on the left just finished shedding the old leaves and starting to grow new leaves for the year it 
there's over a dozen avocado ripening on the tree those are huge see all the avocados now because the old foliage dropped I will make another update on this avocado hill next month exactly two years after planting so please subscribe if you want to see an update on that the next apricot tree is flora gold so we also finished harvesting apricots from it already it's growing great didn't have too many apricots this year just a dozen or so now need to cut all this dry lemongrass so that it can regrow the pear trees are growing great as usual but we only get a couple occasional blooms and no pears so far so hopefully next year will be the year and we'll get some pears Desertney pomegranate This is our old orange tree is multi grafted to different varieties. So I grafted a red grapefruit on the right, lemon, pink lemonade on the left, and caracara orange in the middle. So we already have a lot of lemons ripening. like some grapefruit is set as well so here baby grapefruits and so some caracara oranges couple more grafts here but we don't get a lot of sun so we only have three dominant grafts this is the lemon caracara orange two grafts and the red grapefruit
Thompson seedless grape. It's growing well as usual. Because of the warm weather early in the spring, all the fruit is ripening about a month earlier than usual, which is on time in our climate. Here I got uh, my cava Fuyu persimmon. So this was sold as a my cava Fuyu persimmon, which turned out to be just a rootstock, and I grafted it in spring with the correct variety, and one of the grafts took, as you can see here, and it's growing nicely. The second graft did not take, so I let the rootstock grow again here and will either remove the second trunk or graft it again in spring. Here we got some mango seedlings. This is a manila mango. That's some Taufa mango seedling. This is a Suriname cherry. These are seedlings of a black Suriname cherry called Lalita. Pitomba growing very slowly I will plant all these in ground shortly so this is the area where I will plant my persimmon mango seedlings and a few more trees. While uh, pruning the black mission tree in winter, I took one of the cuttings, stuck it in the bucket of sand to a sitting there for several months outside. And then in the middle of spring, I potted it because it started showing signs of life and it seems to be growing nicely now. This is black grape growing from the front yard looks like we'll have some grapes this year just need to protect them from squirrels and birds I'm going to the front yard now Barbados cherry is growing slowly. It doesn't get as much sun as it needs, but it's growing steadily, so hopefully it will do well. The apricot tree, where I changed the variety from Katie to the unknown apricot variety we have in the backyard.
interestingly because it's grafted on a different apricot variety the apricots are late compared to the original apricot so these ones are not yet ripe we only have about 10 apricots on the tree this year but it's producing unlike the Katie apricot which did not produce any apricots at this location this is the grape it's growing very vigorously now which is good I'm letting it get established here it's to be pruned yearly anyway so it's never late to change the trellising on your grape once it's established the Santa Rosa plum is the first of the plums we have here doesn't have too many plums this year but they're growing well Next plant tree is Mariposa. It also doesn't have too many plums this year. Well, it's just its third year in the ground, so hopefully the next year will be better. The next four trees are the bare root trees planted in winter. So here I have a two-in-one planting of Flavor King Pluot and Burgundy Plum as a pollinator. They grow great. Flavor King Pluot. And Burgundy Plum. I planted two trees in one hole because we are on the same rootstock. This is a standard rootstock which performs well in our area. So there is no issue having two plant trees with the same rootstock in the same hole. The other two trees have different rootstocks, so I planted them several feet apart. The first one is a Pluot, flavor finale Pluot. Hopefully it will get enough chill hours. We only got about 300 hours, chill hours this year, which is typical for this area. And the next tree is a new introduction of a cherry plum hybrid flavor punch pluary. So those were only available on Citation rootstock, which is great for areas which don't get too hot, which is hopefully the case for this spot, because it's under a large ash tree, which is taking over. And produces a lot of pleasant shade. Here we got Groomy Chama. This 
We've had two blooms this year and it looks like we might have one cherry forming. The Dorset Golden Apple produces a ton of apples this year. I should have thinned them a little bit, but we got birds and squirrels who do a lot of thinning. Dorset Golden is a very reliable producer here. Even without feeling, the apples are growing to a nice size. The next two apple trees are apple trees which are not low chill varieties. In regards to apples, they're supposed to be able to produce fruit even without the minimum chill requirement. So these ones try to grow tall and I tied the two of the tops together as they produce better with horizontal branches. So I grafted several varieties last year and all of them took and I grafted a couple this year as well. So I'm trying to select a few apple varieties which would grow very well here so that I can have this tree produce reliably, these two trees produce reliably as well. William's Pride seems to grow in very well. Liberty grew a lot last year. So you see all this branch grew last year. However, it's the middle of June and it's not even thinking of breaking buds. So it does not look like Liberty is a good variety for this Santa Barbara area. Couple new grafts uh, Spitzenberg. No time use seems to be growing well so far, but it's important to check next year once it goes for a winter. And as we see, some varieties really do not do well, it just doesn't wake up without getting the chill hours. So, clearly, Liberty is not a variety to plant here. The next tree is bushier and one of the grafts bloomed profusely this year and even starting to produce some apples, which is very surprising. So this is Gold Rush. Gold Rush is supposed to be an apple variety which needs a pollinator and I did not see any other variety nearby blooming at the same time and yet we got several apples set so probably pollinated by bee from far away Hudson's, Hudson's golden gem seems to be another variety which grows well it bloomed this year as well 
did not get pollinated it looks like this is an Arkansas black graft then the golden hour gold rush graft Never Hudson's Golden Gem Craft. And the main tree here is King David, which bloomed last year but didn't set any fruit. I will keep you updated on what apple trees do best here, but it will probably take a few more years before we know which varieties produce. The red barren peach, has a lot of fruit set, did have peach leaf curl this year. But it recovered nicely. Planted a few more nitrogen fixers, Gumi. berries so don't know if we are going to fruit here reliably because of the lack of chill hours so this is a carmine gumi this was a small cutting planted in winter so large cutting of sweet scarlet Gumi had a lot of fruit on it this year. Ah, it's a delicious fruit. Another sweet scarlet Gumi also grows nicely and had a lot of fruit this year. It fruits in May. And I think we have just one fruit left. Here is another uh, carmine gumi. It would be interesting to see if they can produce reliably here, in addition to being nitrogen fixers. Lemon guava. Satin fruit. Blooming. Produces very delicious fruit. It is never lemon guava. And then we got three pineapple guavas. Last year we tried a couple of pineapple guavas from this Nazmes variety, it was delicious. And it looks like it's going to produce many more this year. The second variety is Mammoth. Also setting some fruit. And the last variety is Coolidge. I 
also have some fruit set. So I'm looking forward to tasting all these pineapple guava varieties. The second passion fruit in the front yard is also taking over the house in this case. We love passion fruit, so we just let it grow and prune it only when needed. Tropical red guava, Bemond red. It's growing well. It is in a partly shaded location, so it definitely prefers, prefers more sun, but it produces it's going to start blooming now. Here is a passion fruit. This also has a significant trunk. Actually, it's a double trunk. Macoxapadia. It's been very slow grower. Might need to start feeding it better, otherwise it's just going to stay tiny all the way. Three different banana varieties here, the dwarf green, dwarf nambwa, and an ice cream banana. Waiting for our first banana harvest of dwarf Namwa. Did not cut the flower just because this is our first banana cluster and I wanted to see how it looks like. The bees seem to be very interested in banana plant flowers which are rich in nectar. This is our dwarf mulberry. She gave us a good crop this year. We already picked all the mulberries. There's just a couple remaining. Got a few grafts here. So Pakistan and Pakistan mulberry graft from last year gave us a few mulberry berries. And I also grafted a Persian mulberry here. This is also a very, very sweet mulberry variety. We tried a few berries this year. And I got two pomegranate bushes here. This is Parfianca pomegranate, which is supposed to be a very delicious variety, but it's a dwarf variety, so I planted it separately. Here, our main pomegranate bush was a very bad producer of pomegranate in its five years. It only produced a couple pomegranates, 
so I cut most of the trunks from this tree and grafted other varieties of pomegranate. Surprisingly, the two trunks which are left have a lot of pomegranates set on it. <laughs> so I expect over a dozen pomegranates on the angel red variety. I don't know what caused it. Maybe the very warm spring we had and the absence of foggy days. I can't tell what affects pomegranate production. If you know, please put it down in the comments below. I would be interested to read your comments. So the rest of the trunks I grafted 11 other varieties of pomegranate. Most of the grafts were bark grafts and all of them took and I also tried a couple of cleft grafts. Um, so one of them here and another cleft graft over here. So my conclusion for grafting pomegranates is you can use um, cleft graft if you are grafting to the same diameter of the scion and the rootstock. If the diameter is not the same, cleft graft, as you see in this example, is not the best, but bark graft works great. And it's recommended to graft from uh, both sides. As you see he here, so there are two bark grafts on two opposite sides, so that the trunk doesn't die off on one side. In some cases, the uh, one of the grafts broke from the wind, or some animals trying to climb the tree, which is fine. So we got ever sweet graft, Sirenevi graft, Azadi graft, Rani, Sayant, Sambar, Sagdina, Vina, Flashman's, and I got. So all 11 varieties took. You can see how bushy the tree looks like now. So we'll definitely get the harvest this year from the two angel red branches which are left. And hopefully we'll start getting some new variety pomegranates next year. I'm very curious. This is white Genoa fig tree. Setting some figs already. And I got a yellow long neck graft here, which is growing extremely well in our area. Also, coated down Noir 
grafters seems to be growing up. This is the avocado I planted in winter. Kona Sharwheel. It's growing great. Did not have any blooms this year, which is very good. It has to grow and establish this year before it can start blooming next year. Looking very healthy. We got two clusters of Big Jim Lockwood this year. They were delicious. Here is a picture of the cluster. So now the place where the cluster was starts sprouting new leaves. And the tree is doing well. If you have any questions about the fruit trees I showed you today or any other questions, please feel free to leave your comments below and please subscribe to see the updates on my subtropical fruit garden as it becomes a fruit forest. Mulberry, pomegranate, fig, avocado, lockwood, and a huge star pine. Thank you for watching. Happy gardening. Bye.